Hey everyone, how's it going? Nobla here, and uh, I'm making a tutorial video on how uh, I stream and how I can actually stream because my my specs are seriously not not the best. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, this is what I have here. I have an i3 clocked at four gigahertz and a a gig memory. My GPU is a GT a GeForce GT four forty. It's it's about hold on. <clears throat> Alright, uh G Force What it what the G Force four forty. Um Amazon Right, it's not an Avega, it's an ASOS. Can't spell for ship, me you know. Alright, it's an American. Why is it an American? Oh my god. Can I have a British one, please? A British. Alright, hopefully this one. Yeah, so it's about. S uh, okay, it's about 70. Seventy pound. Last time I checked on a different website, it was what was it? DDR5. It was about fifty quid. So it's about two years old. I've had it for about yeah, about two years. Uh, two, four, three, yeah, two Christmases ago. So uh, yeah, okay. Let's get on to the tutorial. What you want to do is um. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for OBS. It's a free to free download on streaming products uh, it's not like XSplit where you actually have to pay so all you want to do is hit download uh, it should bring you to a page uh, your download will start in two problems with download you know your just usual shit uh, click keep I've already done it uh, then next you just want to run it and install it and then after that you want to click the uh, hold on, OBS there should be a 32-bit and 64-bit. Click your uh, your system, obviously. So I'm running the 64-bit. So first thing, it looks it looks fairly easy to use. It's not it's not the hardest to use. But um, yeah. So what you want to do when you actually get in it is settings, general. Obviously, choose your language. Setting. I don't really know what that is. I don't care. Uh, encoding. I use CBR and Bitrate. People change it, but I'm. I've had it at a thousand, and it's actually quite handy. I put it up to four thousand, and my ping kind of went up a bit. So I've just left that left that at four thousand, and audio's at AAC. Uh, broadcast settings. Here's where you um. Actually, choose where you want to stream it. I think file output only is just recording. In other words. So that, that won't stream, that will just be recording. So you go to live stream, you have all these different options here. Twitch, um, I don't know any of them at all. But um, yeah, so just go on Twitch. And then do your location. And then what you want to do now is hit, uh, go to Twitch. Twitch. And um, go to become a broadcaster. Do... Uh, click get started and um, to use that yeah. you may need to use your stream key so here's your stream key here all you have to do is click show key I'm not going to do it obviously because it's my key but um, yeah do that copy it and um, put it in here uh, I also have auto reconnect on auto reconnect timeout that's just on 10 and delay yours would be on 0 but I found that easy to use on four um i don't know why it just kind of feels good for me you can also change if you want to start streaming and if you don't uh i don't have that because i don't see the point i just hit i just hit start stream yeah there's my graphics card there okay so here's if you have a, a better computer than mine you could probably change that to about 
uh, I'd say 1920 by 1080. Obviously, that's 1080p, and uh, yeah. So, or you can just do your monitor, which my monitor is my monitor is that. So yeah, um, resolution downscale. Now here you can pretty much just choose what you want. If it's too laggy on 1080, you can obviously tone it down to 864 or 720, whatever you want. So FPS, uh, I keep mine at 30, 60 just makes it a bit laggy. I don't know why. F oh, yeah. So I keep mine at 30. You can obviously change these if you want, or um, have a mess about with them. Go wait, wait. Oh. Apply. <coughs> I audio. I have my speaker and my microphone. So uh, yeah, you can always have push to talk if you're using like TeamSpeak or something. You could probably bind it to the same key. Uh, push to talk, push to talk delay milliseconds. That's just like a delay. Uh, mute. You can mute your mic. Unmute your mic. Uh, you can mute your desktop, which is cool. So you can pretty much just mute all your audio if you really wanted to. Uh, I just keep these at default. I don't really see the point in changing them. Uh no. Advance. Okay, now here's my uh thing. I have mine at normal. Scene bufferings at four hundred and CPU presets at very high. The reason that is because it don't use as much CPU as it would like lower or higher. So as you can see it it tells you there. See it's already recommended so I just keep it at that. Uh, use multi-thread optimization. I have that on. Uh, I don't have any of this. None of this. This is default, obviously. Uh, you can bind it to your actual IP, but I'm not going to show you my IP. So yeah. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Now scenes. Okay. So let's just remove these. Alright, now what you want to do when scene, you'd already have a scene in there, but you to add another scene, you go add scene, right click, and then you can change it to stream, I don't know, something like that. And then, okay, so that's a scene made. Now sources, here's you have a list of things you can add. So if you want to add monitor capture, click OK, and then it'll choose your monitor 1, preview stream, see I'm streaming my monitor. Or you can get rid of that. Right click and you could add you could add anything. Text, video capture. Video capture device works with DX Tori, but I'm not going to show you that. There's loads of other tutorials. Game capture. Now here's what we want. Uh, okay. This is pretty much what you want. Because this is the most like this one doesn't lag your PC that much but still lags it so what you want to do here is select the application click that and then you got to choose your game see I've got Minecraft running just go in there go in the game so yeah choose that and then obviously it would work um, to edit your scene oh you can also mute your mic here and your sound so that's another thing you can do in the game okay it's gonna lag my computer but okay change it on normal alright okay so I don't know, I think my audio is a bit no, no, okay okay so when you've got your game loaded up and you have your scene selected on your game, um, what you want to hit is preview stream. I don't think it's working. Okay, well, I don't think that this one works with this. I don't know why. Alright. Okay, add, window capture. Ugh, you have to do this. This is another thing you can do. You can also add your wind uh, a game through this way, but I don't use this way because it, it it lags. Huh? Why is it not working? 
Okay, there we go. Whoa. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what... Uh, it's because it's not the right size, isn't it? Yeah, it's because the game needs to be in 1080. So, yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, that size. Uh, I, I am getting quite bad frames, but that's because I'm recording... Um, I did do a stream pre uh, stream test, and um, I think I've done quite a few, and uh, I, I was getting about 103, 104 frames in them, but this was without out recording with Camtasia. So uh, yeah, that's how I stream guys, so if you like the video please leave a like, if you enjoyed it subscribe for more content that comes out uh i try to do daily uploads but i don't think i can actually can do daily uploads so i'm gonna be trying making some uh some more daily uploads for you guys so uh yeah peace